Why is my antenna shorter than it should be? All right, and there's fundamentally two reasons for that. Well, there's three really. So what I'm gonna cover in this video is something called end effect, end effect, velocity, height above ground. So I wanna start with, this could be a dipole, but let's start with something really simple. We'll start with a 40 meter vertical. So this is a really important video, so, so stick with me on this. 40 meter dipole, uh, sorry, a 40 meter vertical is a, this length is affected by one, the dielectric size and so on of the wire itself, which is its velocity factor. Okay, so for instance, um, this is on a quarter wave, it's really important you stick with this because it will change in a minute, quarter wave, all right? And it's also affected by something called the end effect. Okay, so the end effect, depending on the current distribution, if you, and I'm not gonna give you the maths because I can hardly understand them to be honest, so I'm on chat B, GPT here and we've been, we've been talking about it for a while. Uh, but end effect, if you like, the end of an antenna is shorter than it thinks it is because of the speed of light and a few other things. So let's cover velocity factor first. So velocity factor, insulated wire, in other words, a piece of copper coated with some sort of PVC, in the main, the velocity factor you'll find is about, about 92, 93%. Okay, now for instance, a half inch diameter aluminium tubing with 0 0.035 inch wall thickness has a lot of the velocity factor of about 98 to 99. So wire, that's for wire, and then an aluminium tube is getting on for 99%, some sort of alloy. Half inch, 12 and a half millimeters, something like that. So this is all to do with velocity factor. You've covered that. So in other words, if we think we need an antenna that is 10 meters in total length and it's made of wire, we can roughly guesstimate. And in fact, it should be about 93%. So 93% of 10 meters is actually 9.3 meters. Or is it? Because we have something called end effect. So let's just briefly talk about end effect because this 93% might not be 93%, might be 95%, okay? Because there's a couple of percent that's soaked up in something called end effect. So as our electrons get near the end of this antenna, other objects nearby, the ground, the type of wire used and everything else, basically the antenna can appear shorter due to something called end effect. So why the hell am I talking to you about end effect? Because, and Matt here, here, Matt here, and I were talking a couple of years ago because neither of us understood what was going on with my 9.2 meter telescopic pole, which is a ground mounted pole, and for 40 meter band, what we were doing is we were coming over and loading it here. And that was, so happens, affecting both 7 megahertz and 21. Now then, the difference between 7 and 21 is a factor of 3 because a quarter wave resonates every other harmonic, or every third or whatever it's. 7 times 3 is 21. So in fact, if we look at the sort of current distribution or the sine wave, we've got one quarter wave happening here, and then we've got something else going on up at the top as well. The end effect only happens once on the 15 meter band up here. It's not happening here or here, <laughs> which means that on the seven, on the 40 meter band, sure, we've got quite a lot of end effect, but on the 21 megahertz, 15 meter band, it's only happening once, which means the culmination of all this baloney is if I've got an antenna that resonates on 7.2 with the end effect, it's not resonant on three times 7.2 at 21 point, let's say six, it's resonant a bit higher because we've only got the, the end effect happening once at the end here. So it's not 21.6, we will find it's about 21, let's say 0.8, it's a bit higher. And what we've done with this little fold over 
is that we've created a little bit of inductance at the top. If you like, it's a tiny loading coil. And if you remember going back two or three videos ago, we spoke about what happens when you take a loading coil and lift it up the pole, is that the third harmonic starts to come down. And that's exactly what's happened here is now by doing this little fold over and putting a little coil effectively, a little bit of loading right at the top, we're bringing the third harmonic down, which is why we can get that down to 21.1 quite easily. 21.2, 21.3, depending on how much loading we put on there. I wanted to do this video because not a lot of people ask me about this business at the top. Not many people understand end effect. And at least now you'll know that if you've got a quarter wave or two quarter waves, in other words, making a dipole for seven megahertz, why it's resonant a little bit too high on the 15 meter band. However, at the beginning of this video, we said we were going to talk about height above ground as well, because height above ground also affects our antenna if we are doing a dipole. Now, there's some quite interesting stuff on the internet, but effectively, if we take an axis here, and we have 100 ohms there and 20 ohms here, we'll find that a dipole above ground does something like this as we increase the height, and it eventually ends up at 70, I think, 3 ohms, right? But when it's low to the ground, like about a quarter wave, just under a quarter wave, you'll find that at that point there, it's perfect at 50. As we, as we increase the height, we will find the SWR and the impedance will change. But something else changes as well. Because if we've got, we'll put the ground here, a little bit of grass, we've got to have very low to the ground dipole, let's say a little inverted V, okay. Because of the, we've got the ground here, there's some extra capacitance between the antenna and the ground, which means the antenna can be a lot shorter if it's very close to the ground. Okay, quite a lot shorter. So, for instance, a 40 meter antenna that is only two meters high off the ground, or about six feet, just over, I think. As we increase the height, up to about a quarter of a wavelength, as we increase the height, we'll find it needs to be a wee bit longer, okay? And on the 80 meter band, that can be like an extra one or two meters, you know, six, 10 feet in some cases. You've got to add a little bit as it goes up. Now I've got a hydraulic tower and I proved this a long time ago, never made a video about it. I had a dipole with two DX commander poles and I put it up and you could see not only was the resonant frequency changing, but so was the impedance as well. So there's some sweet spots, about 10 meters on, 40 meet, on the 40 meter band, 10 meters high, is quite a nice, I seem to remember, sweet spot. By the way, if you're unsure of that, how SWR affects height above ground. Uh, yeah, okay, there's one that'll do that. That will that. This 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 graph here, if we can find it. Oh, there it is. There. So we'll zoom in a wee bit if we can. And this is in. Um, oh yes, it does. It starts off low. Look. So a quarter of a wave. In fact, it's saying it should be up to about a hundred. Uh, if we come down to an eighth of a wave. So that's about five or six meters off the ground. We get a perfect match look at 50 ohms just here. Uh, if we come across at 50 and then come down, it's about an eighth of a wavelength. So five, eight, four, four or five meters, yeah, getting on for 20 feet. So in fact, as you go too high, you can get quite a nasty impedance at about 10 meters. So I was incorrect then. According to this chart, right, your world might be different. And then it comes back down, eventually it settles. So it's quite interesting, isn't it? So height above ground can affect the length of your antenna as well, not so much on the vertical. If that's been a complicated video, I'm sorry, all right? Sometimes I try and talk in English because that's what I understand rather than maths. Because I'm not a mathematician, I'm a practical scientist. There we go. Next video is up here and there's a playlist just under it, which you might enjoy. There's a bit of comedy in there, a bit of fun. You know, she you may enjoy. All right, so in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy your radio. Enjoy your RF. Have some fun. Enjoy yourselves. Bye for now.